Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. Alright, so let's look at the next concept there called the addition and subtraction of vectors. Let's see how we can actually do or how we can actually add and subtract vectors. Alright, let's look at the addition and subtraction of vectors. Um, it's very easy. To add or subtract any two, three, four vectors, simply add up their corresponding um, coordinates, right? Or subtract corresponding coordinates, and that's all, okay? Add up or subtract corresponding coordinates. For instance, if I'm given... Uh, Let's say I'm given this, given a vector a to be equal to 2i plus 6j minus 11k and I'm given b to be equal to i minus j minus 14k and I'm asked to find, let's say, uh, a plus b and uh, a minus b so how do I do this? Um, solution is very simple. My first one has to find a plus b. Now I will usually advise that when it comes to adding or subtracting, place the two vectors in a, in a, in a bracket. So this is now equal to, put in brackets, that becomes 2i plus 6k minus 11k, that's a, plus b is this, i minus j minus 14k, so I have this, it becomes a plus b. Next up, take off the bracket. If I take off bracket, it becomes 2i plus 6j minus 11k plus i plus minus minus j plus minus minus 14 k so i have this next for now collect like friends um collect like friends this is now equal to if i take the i's i have this because 2i see other i here yeah? plus i i'm done with the i's take j my j here is plus 6j here is minus j I'm done with J, stay K. Here is minus 11K. Here is minus 14K. If I work this out, it means that A plus B is equal to I plus 2I take 3I. J, 6J minus J. Of course, what you have here is 1. So 6 minus 1 gives 5. Becomes plus. 5j. For this, minus 11 minus 14 is minus 25k. So this is my answer of a plus b. Let's now consider a minus b. Uh, how do we get a minus b? So a minus b. So it's equal to I said, start them up by putting them in brackets. If I put it in brackets, it becomes uh, 2i plus 6k minus 11k. That's a minus b becomes i minus j minus 14k. So I have this one here. My next task is to expand this using a negative. So if I expand brackets, it becomes 2i plus 6k minus 11k so minus for this gives minus i minus minus this plus j minus minus this plus 14k alright so I have this now if you look at this so now if you look at this now uh, 
if I hadn't used brackets here, let's assume I did use brackets here, I will still have the same answer. And then you will not be asking, so why the need for the bracket? Now, here's why you should use bracket. Because at this point, let's imagine I don't use bracket. If I don't use bracket now, most students would hurriedly make a mistake here. And the mistake is this. They would say A minus B. This is equal to, so you say A is equal to that. That's 2i next up plus 6j next up minus 11k. This becomes A minus, you now put B. B is i next up minus j next up minus 14k. So if you observe now, for, the, for this step here, everything here is wrong. So the only correct thing here is just the minus i. Don't forget, the minus is supposed to affect everything that comes with B. So in the case where you don't put the bracket, you might forget the fact that minus is supposed to, is supposed to multiply all the terms. And then you now make this error, which will give you a bad result. So for that sake, it's, it's safer to always use bracket first before expanding, so that you get the most correct answer. Alright, from here, this is now equal to, of course, I'll take like this, so it becomes 2i, then this one here, minus i, next up, take the j, it becomes this, plus 6j, and then this, plus j, finally take the k, it becomes this, minus 11k, then plus 14k, so I have this. Alright, what is out? It's now equal to, so 2 minus 1 gives you 1, 1 times i is i, so it means a minus b is equal to i. Let's get j, 6 plus 1, that gives 7j, finally, minus 11 plus 14, that gives plus 3k. So this is the value for a plus b and then this is the value for a minus b. So this is how it's add and subtract vector. Just simply add and subtract corresponding terms and that's all. Let's look at some other examples of addition and subtraction of vectors. So what if I'm given something of this nature? What if I'm given uh, m to be equal to, let's say, um, 14i plus 6j minus k, and I'm given n to be i plus j. In this case, I'm asked to find, find m, that's vector m, plus vector m. In this case, what do I do? It's as easy as equal to, so put m in brackets, um, 14i plus 6j minus k plus, put n in bracket, i plus j. So it's now equal to, this is 14i plus 6j minus k plus 2i plus i plus 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 j. If I take like that, it becomes 14i, this one here, plus i, take the j, plus 6j, take this j, plus j. Finally, only 1 minus k. So it's now equal to 14i plus i gives 15i. 6j plus j gives 7j. Finally, minus k. So you have this. Alright, so in case, of, in case you're given uh, a vector of three dimension and two dimension, no big problem, no, it's, not, it's not a problem, right? Just add the corresponding dimensions and leave out the ones you're not given. That's the concept there. Alright, this is how we solve problems of this nature. Um, just one more example before we are done with this. Um, let's say you're given vector x as equal to j minus q and given vector y as i plus j for instance you have to find find uh, vector x plus vector y and 
vector x minus vector y. So how do you solve this? Let's start with first one there. Vector x plus vector y. This now equals to vector x is j minus k plus vector y is i plus j. So what we have? This is equal to this is j next up minus k plus to i is plus i plus plus is plus j. If I think like this in terms of i before j before k, I'll have that this one here that's plus i or simply i take the j this and this becomes plus j this and this one here plus j finally i have minus k so this will now be equal to i plus j plus j plus 2j finally minus k so i have this as x plus y let's look at x minus y um, x minus y, x minus y, we said please put them in brackets first. So it becomes x, that's j minus k minus y, y is i plus j. So this is not equal to expand the bracket. This is j, this one here, minus k. Minus to this is minus i minus plus minus j. So I have this. Alright, so if I collect like that, starting from i, I have this. So this minus i. Take out the j. I have this. That's plus j. I also have this one here. That's minus j. Finally, I have this. Uh, taking out the k, I have minus k. From here, this is now equal to I have minus i from here plus j minus j. This will cancel this plus plus 1 minus 1 is 0. So it's up and left with minus k. So my answer becomes minus i minus k. If you want to, you can factorize the negative to give you minus into i plus k. So this is because my answer plus minus times i is minus i minus times plus is minus then meaning k so i have minus i plus k so i have this as my answer